Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. On a given week on The Mike O'Mara Show, we, uh, we talk about so many things. We cover so many different topics. We are all over the place. And uh, you never know what direction the show's going to go. You never know what's going to happen, what subject's going to come up. And we do a lot of uh, binge watching of television. We like we oh, talk yeah. television. Television is a big part of uh, what we talk about because it's uh, what we do with our tragic personal lives. We're watching The Magic Box. We hide. And one of the hottest shows right now, and you know it, Oscar, mm-hmm. and I know it, is, uh, is Mindhunter. Mm-hmm. And we had a very, very spirited and uh, interesting discussion of Mindhunter because uh, we were talking about how scary it was. Yes. So, um, Terrifying. Now, that, that leads me to this next point that I'd like to make. <laughs> when you PM me, all right, I, I, usually, uh, I, I usually find... Uh, a le- legitimate constructive criticisms of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people do just links. Not a big fan of that, but but people do it. And I'm not a big link guy. You no. know, uh, links are but the I worst, understand that. But I understand the desire to share. We we get uh, we get you got me. Yeah, I got you. You, you got uh, messages uh, from people that happen a lot. So yes, last evening I'm uh, relaxing after a very busy day of. Uh, of child pickup and uh, and uh, you know running around with my uh, little man, uh, being Mister Mom, as my wife is going to school for uh, this uh, this period of time in her nurse outfit, her nursey wonder outfit. Thank you, Maddie. Um, and so it is. Uh, I know that grosses you. I know you all gross get grossed out when the I talk about how wonderful my wife looks in her nurse outfit. Uh, and uh, from Adam Lucas, I get. So that's how season two of Mine Hunter ends. Sweet was saving that last episode for tonight, but now I can just bang my head against the wall for an hour. I love you, but come on, man! It's been out for five days. Hold on a second. Let, let Adam Lucas. Let me tell you this, mm. okay? Mind Hunter, not a spoilable show. Yeah, the crooks on Mind Hunter. This is not a. This is not. This has already happened. This has happened, yeah. Adam. Yeah, These like murderers have it's already. Good call. The, 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 the particular. This has happened. This has yeah. already gone down. There's no. There's no plot. There's mm. no surprise ending. This is. This Don't. is fine. We didn't give away anything. We talked about murders that had already happened. In this case, forty years ago. You hump. I don't need your snark at the end of my day. You douche. I'm really not mad at him. I just uh, wanted to uh, share that with you. No, I mean, we talked about, but I don't think we you talked give, about it in a spoilable it. way. We talked about how scary it is. And then I talked about the Atlanta child murders, which, by the way, is p- part of the show. If you're waiting for the last episode, they're still looking for the guy. And w- let me tell you something, Adam, young man <laughs> that might not be aware at all because you'd read comic <laughs> books and you don't pay attention to history. This guy was booked. 40 years ago. Look him, Jacko. This guy is behind bars, just like Ed Kemper is behind bars, mm. and just like Charles Manson was behind bars until he died. These guys have been caught. That's the thing that makes this yeah. fascinating. But but I'm not giving anything away, so when you're watching Mind Hunter, Adam, and if you're worried whether they're going to catch the guy, they're going to catch the guy because they did catch the guy. And when I was watching it with my wife, I said, this is how they caught the guy. <laughs> and she didn't make a peep because it doesn't matter. That is how they caught the guy. Because let me tell you what I did, Adam Lucas. I read the stories about it because I was alive when it was going on. <sighs> Thank you. I just needed to uh, get that off my chest because it just annoyed me. Now, spoiler alerts are if you're watching a fiction television show and something major happens a la the uh the show you were telling me about animal kingdom yes where uh it's we a stopped big deal. talking so about it we like, stopped talking about it because that's just been that's been out yeah. but that's that's the point i i was trying to make and, and i hope i wasn't over modulating too much no no was, no this is we've, we've, we've we, mike we have fine-tuned this machine uh, uh you and did I mentioned, not red line you made a red line in uh your blood pressure but not not here at the studio I mentioned uh, Happy Valley, the BBC show. Thank you for the recommendations. Not my thing. Just too much, too, too blah, 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 blah. You know, when you get into the, it seems like the farther north you go mm. uh, in the UK, it's kind of like, whoa, 
there's all shit talking to Chad, but no, the shit for talking to And I just, even with the subtitles, it's driving me nuts. But the whole plot did not move at such a pace that, uh, that you yeah, know, a little too much teasing. Easy. And uh, And the one thing I liked about the BBC is they get right to it. They get right to it. Bing, bang, boom. So it's all, it's all substance. Yeah, it's well, it's just not it didn't work for me. OK, like uh, like, you know, with my lady in Scott and Bailey, a phenomenal program. I I love that. And it's uh, the same creator. Uh, I think her name is Sally Wainwright, who has uh, written Gentleman Jack mm. and Scott and Bailey. And she's amazingly prolific and she's a genius and she's wonderful. But I, I might go back and look at it. But I just wanted to uh, share that. It, Manhunter it, on the other side, a smashing hit. Mindhunter, rather. Mindhunter, smash hit. Everybody watching it and uh, and deservedly so. Like I walked into CVS across the street and they're already gearing up for Halloween. And uh my uh, Shannon, my wife, she just says, uh, what are we going to be for Halloween this year? Because right. who knows if we have an event, right? And um, I said, I don't know yet. This is interesting. So she starts going through iterations and I'm like, I don't, Shannon's really good at like, what do you want me to be for Halloween? Like, yeah, and not, Halloween not, not, is uh, is really a national holiday in your house. Halloween yes, is a yeah. a very, very big deal. We like to go and, all uh, out if possible. Yeah, yeah you guys but need to. Could it's, you? It's, t- it's time. It's time, we, by the way. We, I mean, have, we like, don't have any kids. Stop being children. We're young I mean, at heart. Really, just get your own child and dress them up for well, Halloween. What okay? about, I'm trying to help you here. All right, go ahead. What about, what is this? Like a hypothetical, Michael Mara show hypothetical. What if you went to Carla and said, Carla, yeah. you know, I think this year we should get, we should go all in. Like, uh, you know, I'll let you look around for a different costume, but you know how we really, we both love Scott and Bailey. Um, w- what if, uh, what if we went as the show, like. And you know who you can be, and I can right. be another character. I'm going to stop you yeah. before you get any further, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to say, if I got dressed up with my wife now at this stage of the game and went out there, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i one of two things. I'm either someone who needs a butterfly net and ought to be put in an institution, or I'm a Jimmy Buffett fan. I am neither, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to get dressed up in a silly outfit at 60 years old and and go out there and do that. I you know and by the way, we have down here in uh, God's waiting room, we have <laughs> yes. we have Halloween parties and uh, look, I know people love to dress up. Uh I I I've participated in some of these cocoonville uh conclaves that we have had. And by the way, what they do down here is they have neighbors that have known each other for 25 years that are down here and then they all like do a theme like the Wizard of Oz and uh and and I'm polite and I go, "Oh, isn't that special?" but in all seriousness, it makes me want to barf. Okay? It really it really oh, now that's... now listen, what you're doing is let me tell you where you've got it over me. And where I would have it if if it was if I was not part of the equation. Oh. If Carla say was with a incredibly fit man who uh you know who could dress up as james bond and look credible she's not you are still you know you haven't let yourself completely go thank you and you are still in and your wife is uh, is gorgeous so you still you still (laughs) have that kind of you thing but you're but time's a fleeting time's a fleeting and it's about time to make that pivot where you'll get the joy just let it go of uh you know whether you know no matter how you get there of having a little one crawling around. But I know that that's what the, the about next your wife. Yeah. She can still dress she up. Wants to she do. can still dress up. Well, I could go go on about how and it's amazing to me that on uh on August 22nd you are speaking about Halloween. It's amazing that you're still thinking about that. Uh well, but you even prepare. With- getting a good costume like from a man who by the way, I remember clear as day 11 years ago. Yes. I uh, said, "Ah, I got a costume coming. I'm not going to tell you guys. Shows up to a WJFK event with what? What are veneers of a, a vampire? Dracula. Yeah, right? because my dentist said he I could give you Dracula. Because True Blood that snapped was on. hot yeah. back then. Right. Right. We had a st- now, now. What's the difference in that equation? What is the difference? We had a radio station event. promotion. We had an event. Radio okay. station promotion. Yeah. That was work. That was work. I am not a big one for. I might. But all my life, I was going to uh, parties that were thrown by radio stations. You can go so all out. That's what I'm saying. I guess I'm making the point. I, you you I have gone that all in my out. Personal life. And I know you and uh, and your other uh, radio partner yes. who was on here recently. He of the idea of uh, the golden ticket. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> you know, you've had massive 
Halloween. Are you having another? You're you're doing a promotion, right? You're having I, your I, massive I, it's, party. It, it, it's, it has not been confirmed, and I'm we have not discussed it yet. I, okay, it's literally but it top probably of mind. will because your listeners hopefully. in that group hopefully we'll that see. I share listeners yes, with. Yes, and, yes. and by the way, thank you for point. You'll hear an interesting call in the yaks today that references a couple of times the the golden ticket. The promotion, yak shack is here, the including yak shack one that's uh, really complimentary to me that I think you're going to really enjoy. <laughs> uh, so my point my point is this. Yeah. Even with me giving you that hard time yeah. about preparing for Halloween, it still doesn't take away from the fact that I would love, love, love more than anything to hear about what your wife might be considering wearing uh, this year. Because I really don't care if you're Super Mario or whatever the hell you <clears throat> want to be. But well, I would be I very was curious. one year and yeah. my ex-girlfriend, by the way, was a Princess Peach. Right. Uh, can I just Weird. give a little warning yeah. to maybe the uh, maybe the uh, fathers out there that have uh, daughters that are uh, dating fathers age, of daughters yes. anywhere from eighteen to twenty five? Mm. Uh, beware of the man who tries to be cute, because the man uh, lurking underneath whatever cutie pie costume mm. that might be is a penis, and I think it's really, really, <laughs> really, really important to know that you know there there's an entire genre of adult entertainment. Predicated on a man who wears a bear costume. Okay, this whole little thing is pervolino. This is pervolino. Beware of this. All right. So the whole cutie thing. But anyway, uh, what are you and your wife thinking about? Okay, Have you discussed? So, well, I think she, she mentioned that six or seven years ago. No, yeah, maybe six years ago. Now, five years ago, we went as um, like we 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 were, we wanted to be uh, what is it uh, themed costume group, and I said, oh. All right, that makes sense. Like it's it's pretty like do we have to continue with this boyfriend girlfriend husband wife duo? What are your thoughts on that first? You mean as far as where you go as a couple yeah. in costume like John uh, Stark uh, uh, and you know Khaleesi. Like uh or Juan Donald Stark. and Melania yeah, Juan that Stark, type of thing. You know, better. So what how would the theme differ so it would not be a couple We could go our own just, way. We I love that idea. I love, love, love that. You know what? That's more costume for the buck. Now that I'm getting that, see, you've sucked me in. You've reeled me into this right you now. Order I'm soon. all, I am all for that. You do your thing and let her do, do her, her thing. thing. Now, what is she? Has she thought about that? Anything? Gets awkward when you're out and about with the right. pervert uh, factor because yeah. we, I've done that one time, and the amount of, I guess, uh, disrespect that comes to one's spouse. When you're not in the couple's costume, I get because, it. Because uh, I get it. The predators are out on Halloween. Right. I I totally. <laughs> it's like, you, oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. is that the black swan? <laughs> Who's the guy in the Bioshock <laughs> costume next to him? That can't Especially, be. That can't be her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I get that it. That guy looks like a tool. Yeah. You're sending a signal huh. when you uh, allow her to go off yeah. on her own and not be attached it, to you. It you says know? vacancy. Right. It screams in, right. a, in a neon light. This yep. woman, she's got vacancy of the penis in her life because right. there's no way she's dating the dork next to her. She's too hot for yep. that guy to choose that costume but to you know, stand next I, to her. I have to tell you, though, do you know that I feel that when I see those couples that are out there, and we did a lot of Halloween parties uh, with oh, WABA yeah. and with WJFK. It's, and radio. And it's part of the radio DNA. The Don and Mike show. We did a ton of them. I always found that the couple's costumes, uh, they, they betray a little neediness Ooh. on the part of the man. Now, when oh. you get to be my advanced age and you're going to the, uh, you know, casket acres uh, and you're trying to, <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're trying, you're trying to do that. Uh, your couple's down here. You've been paired off for 40 years. Mm. It's perfectly acceptable. When you're going to a young person's, I always found the guy that wants to be Prince Charming or uh, Ariel's Prince or something like that. Yeah. That's that's super needy. You know, I've always and really, this is just me talking right yes. now because I judged a few of these. I witnessed a few of these. I was always extremely uh, pleased with the single guy costume mm. with the dancing condom. Uh, with the doctor, the, with the doctor who performed a medical procedure that I will not mention on this particular show, that uh, there were a lot of those over the mm. years. They, and believe me, they Brutal. were always single guys. Uh, it was just, it was, uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, and you know, I, I like that. So I think that uh, you you appear needy if you uh, do that, but you can have a little bit of both. You know, you can let her stand alone yes. and then you can low key it. 
That's what I think. I would let her have the fun and you be like a, a hobo or something like that. <laughs> Why do you know? I have to be the hobo? That's because even I'm worse. thinking you, you just you know what you need to do. Yeah. You let her just she loves it, right? She well, loves you she guys. Me- like, she mentioned part of your she mentioned Catwoman, that. right? And I'm like, oh, all right, well, I have some shackles. Me Maybe I could uh, spring uh, spring for like a, a, a pretty legit uh, <laughs> costume. Hold on, I'm I'm playing I'm playing my sounds for uh, Cat. I'm doing I'm the, sure they yeah. have an, they have a. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing my sound effects for that. Okay. Yeah. Shannon is Catwoman. Yeah, <laughs> Thank boy. you very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Daddy's Daddy approves of that. Thank you. Very very nice. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. Very very excited about that. Okay. Yes, sirree. I like that. Hey, yes. That's yeah, my sorry. wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Is she around? By the way, is she? Uh, oh is she uh, no, she's on the second floor, Mike. Where she okay. belongs. Uh, very mm-hmm. good. I think Catwoman would be spectacular, but you're not. Don't tell me you want to be Batman. No, I don't want, do you to be want Batman. To be? I don't have the pecs for that right now. If I was in better shape, maybe. Well, you wear a chest plate. You wear the plastic chest plate. Well, I like to pecs. be all natural. Um, so Batman's <laughs> not all natural. He wears a breastplate. Well, look. Have you seen? Even I know that. Have I'm you not seen Ben Affleck guy. in the town when he's doing those pull-ups? He's got the <laughs> yeah. V. This is, you know, probably when he was doing some drugs and cutting down. Uh, when he was hot. <laughs> Let me just Jeez. say, Ben Affleck in the town is the dreamiest Ben Affleck he is. ever. He yeah, is. There's no good. The haircut, everything. Oh, my God. Right across. Like he's Jeremy the everyman. Yeah, he breaks absolutely. rocks for a living. Yeah. Yeah. Very oh, cool. Very, very cool. So what do you, uh, with, if truck. she was Catwoman, what were you um, thinking about doing? I was, and look, work with me here. If you can't be the hot superhero, because that's just, you know, sometimes yeah. you got you to gotta go the opposite direction, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think it's at all okay to be the Riddler? The Riddler? Yes. Well, is it Riddler? Yeah. The Riddler. Riddler? <laughs> First of all, you cannot put a costume on is it the Riddler? with a name you cannot pronounce. It's the Riddler. Th- it's not the Riddler. Wait, wait. It's the wait. Riddler. It's the Riddler. The R- Riddler. But it is Riddler. Riddler. If you Riddler. can't pronounce it, and now you're making me think about it, I don't think you should be in that costume. I think it's the Riddler. Costume, Riddler. 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 Pony? Riddler hurts me my here. tongue. This, this is hysterical. Um, how about the Joker? Is that easier? <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, Jerk. it's the Riddler, right? It's the Riddler. To be honest, I have no idea, but I'm going to go with Pony, Riddler. Help me I think it's, it's Pony, Riddler. Just Pony just Riddler. punted. It's Riddler. It's Riddler. It's Riddler. You know, it's, it's Riddler. not Riddler. It's the Riddler. But it is spelled <laughs> R-I-D-D-L-E-R. See? It's confusing. The Riddler. Maybe that's why they call him the Rid- Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're I doing is she is her own uh, Batgirl type thing. Yeah. And or cat? Does she want Catwoman or Bat Batgirl? She wants to be Catwoman, but Catwoman the, is a is a is a uh, villain, right? The question mark guy. guy. All right, the Riddler. and you want to be the Riddler. The Riddler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you up. can be the Riddler by just putting on a sport coat. Well, no, well, I so I looked for costumes. It's a fat guy costume. No, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, <geez. laughs> Mike, I'm a it's jerk. A, it's a young fat guy. <laughs> hey, I can't wear any costume. You know. Young really, fat, I'm him. young fat guy territory. No, uh, well, I just you don't think- want to wear you don't want to wear the Frank Gorshin uh, bodysuit. No, no, no. I, you can do the bodysuit and sports coat. So if it gets mm-hmm. a little hot, and maybe I'm in better shape by Halloween. Like, yeah, peel off that layer, That's and fine. it also screams right. this. It goes back to my uh, vacancy. No penis in my life uh, sign when you're a different character from a different group. I'm right. not Batman, but any man that sees my wife knows you're, then sees t- you're, you're, you're in the same theme. The question mark guy. I'm all in. Then they're like, ah, th- they're either roommates or they're sleeping together. And that's better you. than there's no way she could be with the Riddler. Right. And I uh, can I make a request? Yes. The only thing I request is that on, uh, you know, right around Halloween, can we have a... Uh, uh, a fashion show. I, I just I like to should. see. Really, I think that'd be a. I don't a think great it's. Uh, I, I, look, she's not going to do anything that's not tasteful. Right, but you know, it'll be up on uh, old Instagram. I imagine my son's so sweet. You know what he wants to be? He's because uh, penguin. I guess let's have back. him out. We can have no, a theme no. between uh between no. the shows. No, he wants to be Iron Man. Just a little man. penguin walk around with a top hat. No, he wants to be Iron Man again. Yes. He wants to be Iron Man, and he's got. By the way, he's got Jack Sparrow and Iron Man in his closet still. 
So, uh, but I, you know, and if he wants to do that again, I'm all in. Save some money. to slog out and get another costume. I'm cool with Maybe. that. I love him as Jack Sparrow because that little costume, I think, was the cutest thing. And I think I got it a costume. Why can't you be his driver? Of the year. What? Why can't you be his driver from what, the Jack movie? Jack Sparrow's driver? No, no. Uh, uh, Tony Stark's. Oh, see, I've never watched Iron Man, so I don't pay It's a fat man problem. costume. It's a, oh, well, thank you very much. No, uh, maybe a, <laughs> what's he wear? Is. What's he wear? Like a muumuu? No, that no, what he no, wears? no. He wears what is a black suit. Right. Sometimes a tie and a driver's yeah. cap. Black suit, uh, tie, uh, and a hat. Does he wear a hat? He wears a hat. I'm too fat for it. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, bro. It's me, California Twig. Hey, what are you doing here? When I'm not paying $47 for a gallon of gas, I get all of my Twitch needs from the Mike O'Mara Shopping Center. Click the banner at MikeO'MaraShow.com and have your essentials delivered to the East Coast or the Best Coast or anywhere in between. I wish they all to be California. The best of O'Mara. I got a swollen ear. Oh, what? No. I got a swollen ear. What? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. I have a swollen ear. I got a swole. I got a swolled ear. Now the ear itself, like the meaty part or the inside part, the meaty part. Mm, meaty. The ears. cauliflower part. My <laughs> cauliflower have you ear. Greco Roman wrestling. No, no, oh. I don't know. I've been I've been on meds. What about you know, with grappling? The, Did you take a tough no, hit I down at been the grappling. box? I've been. I wear headphones every day, and I wear that CPAP machine at night. That touches my ears. Ah. I get a lot of crap on my ears all day long. With uh, but they're my. It's my crap. You know. I mean, it's uh, a. <laughs> is a swollen ear. It, it, the only swollen ear I've ever seen is in CrossFit when you have a cauliflower ear. That this is not because I would not be doing that kind of vigorous okay. exercise. Cauliflower my exercise comes from involves, frequent hits, right? Ah, right. I think rubbing against the mat. Oh, my exercise involves me. drive, 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 walk, walk, hit ball. Drive, 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 walk, walk, hit ball. Drive, 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 walk, walk, hit ball. That's uh, that's what my left ear or right involves. ear or both. Right ear. Okay. Do you I, sleep on your right wanna ear? Want to see it? Mm, no. Oh, oh gross. Oh my god. It's not, you don't even notice that from that uh, distance on the camera. Oh, it looks like a girl's You're, body part. Oh, yeah, it, does, God. God. it Mike, really did. Yeah, you've got, you know what, on your ear. Mm -hmm. Oh, behave. I do not. <laughs> Can anyway, we see the other one for comparison? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, you've got. No, that's definitely. Oh. I have, by the way, I have giant ears. I have Dumbo ears. So, I mean. I realize both my ears are super big. All the women are jealous of my ears. I, I do believe the word we might be looking for is engorged. You know what it is? What? You know, like in the very, and this might not happen anymore, but uh, when I was younger and I go to the 930 club, there'd be- Rock club. Yeah, yeah there'd be in a rock club. Or anywhere. With hookers. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Lots of uh, pierced hookers. There that's would... the word of the day. That, that's the addition to every sentence today, you know? Uh, I went to church Sunday <laughs> with hookers. <laughs> <laughs> they. It's the new with hookers game. It would yeah, be with hookers game. a piercing and almost in, like an earring, but it'd be an insert in the earring. Well, oh, like a oh, like a spacer, a spacer. Right? Yeah, like you see them, they're like O's. They're like it a... looks like you had a piercing with a spacer and it fell out. Yeah, well, like you after had a... after the show yesterday, um, I called my doctor's office and uh, they're here, so so doctors are not available uh, because they've all arrived and they're uh, all ill. Oh, and all so, the people. Uh, yeah. So I I said, all right, I'll pop into the local um, urgent care thing, uh, which is part of my network, and so I'll go in there and. Uh, this was right after the show, and there were fifty people in there. Do you oh, find no. when you go to there the were urgent 50 care, people? And I went to, I walked in, and I walked out. I said, "I got a swollen ear. I'm not dying here." And I'll, I'll call, and and then the lovely lady, they great at this doctor's office, and she chatted with me and got a list of what was going on with my ear, and said, "He'll see you at 1:45." So I'm going to see him at 1:45. I'm typing in. He's going to vagina ear. Vagina <laughs> ear. I'm going to go send or my vagina ear to him. Vagineer. Vagineer. I believe Vagineer. they employ them at Disney. Ramped up vagina ear. I'm going to send that. <laughs> right next to the Imagineers are the vagina, the vagina ears. And they, or the Mouseketeers. The, oh, the Imagineers at Disney. Yeah, and they, what they do is they make The Imagineers. There you go. You know, hey, by the way, was that the first? Wasn't that the beginning of when you would get, when you would get a really, a truly, truly, uh, jive word yes. to, to screw the American public. Oh, yeah, you know? It's like, you know, we're, we're not podcasters. We're talketeers. Talketeers. <laughs> and wait a minute. Hold on. They weren't, uh, they weren't 
actors at Disney. They're not actors. What are they? They give. Oh them no, the they're not. For... They're not park employees. They're cast members. Cast members. They're cast members. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. And what they it all is. have yeah, vagineers. Vagin- <laughs> vagineers. The Which vagineers. Is, it's like the Mickey Mouse ears, but Ladies it's in the adult no. part of the park. The vagineers. Whoa! <laughs> I think it's whoa, whoa, his whoa. mask. You do? It's got to be your mask, Mike. The CPAP thing? I think because it, it, if it goes on, and it wraps it around It doesn't your ears. go right over the ear, but it definitely uh, brushes by the ear. And, the ears? And Would it pinch yeah, it and it split it? It pinches the ears. It pinches, pinches the ears. The old pinch yeah. and I'll split I'll probably it? bring that up to the good doc, my Is great there doctor. soreness when you Dr. touch? Dr. Jason, one of, the, one of the best guys I know. I've, I'm very blessed to have a, uh, you know, w- when you're in my condition, it's great to have a general <laughs> practitioner that you track with. Sure. Who's a lot younger than you are, which they all are now. So it's a, uh, it's great to go into him and uh, talk with him because I, you know, I, they I say, tell him everything. My history, my long, long history of every venereal disease known to mankind. Uh, you know, my, 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 uh, my, my dinghy fever that I got when I was uh, <laughs> doing missionary work in Africa. All the things. That dinghy I have, or all dengue? The maladies that I have. Because I think dinghy manifests well, itself lower. Well, mine was a tiny, tiny little fly, Rob, that bit me. <laughs> You know, one of the outhouses. What does Carla was, uh, say about your ear, boss? Uh, she Goodbye. is kind of. <laughs> no, she's she's you know, she's been through it so much that there's not uh, there's not a tremendous amount of sympathy. It's been like that's three a, weeks of health for Mike. Yeah, yeah, it's been three weeks of health, and I and I'm out of there. I played poor, golf yesterday. This poor man's. How'd you shoot? Eighty eight. That's not bad for a man with one, that on his ear. Twenty five dollar bet. One twenty five. Won my bet you, back. You not? That's a, a copay. Mm hmm. Do you yeah, see that's them? a copay. Thank you, Rob. You gotta live down here. Yeah. You gotta get a. Why don't you? You know the, the house next door to me is empty. Why don't you just come down? <laughs> just start you just come squatting. Down? Leave the family back there, but come down and just hang for a couple of months. You I know, think it might be nice. We'll do stuff. We'll go eat donuts. We'll do things. We'll do, yeah, we'll things, do things together. Compare we'll, we'll ears. Get, well, you know what? You come down here, and we will get those tricycle bicycles down here. Yes. Or and we will just ride them. And when we'll ride them, we'll have kind of a stupid look on our face. We'll, kind of, we'll, we'll, the, we'll, we'll have the look on our face like when you take selfies with people. Let me see if I've got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, you brought that, you've asked about this, and this I don't know what every, you mean. Let me see if I get this. This is every selfie Rob takes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a look of delightful surprise. <laughs> it's a phony, phony, phony smile How? next time normally. You know, you're... Your smile. You know the picture I have up here in the office of you when you were really laughing and yes. we were on stage, mm-hmm. it's which a, is just and you be, really laughing. And to be clear, it's of both of us. It's not like you have a picture of me in your office. <laughs> well, no, it's but it's a it's my picture of you. Yeah, you know. Uh, the, I mean, I I I like that, but I mean, I, I hit the. Okay, it looks will, like you're gasping for air. You have like a I folded ear, more than a. Uh, was it a vaginier? Vaginier, more like a folded. Well, ear. I, I have the the seam that says you know heart attack is imminent on the <laughs> ear. That's uh, what is that? Is that a thing? A, yeah, if you have a seam down your lobe, that means you. Uh, How are my lobes, Oscar? I mean, I, you got to take your hand off of it. Uh, you've got like three wrinkles on your lobes. Yeah, well, he's got oh. fat ear. Yeah. yeah. Do you oh. have big ears, Rob? Do you have big ears or little my, ears? I think, my, head. I think my ears are proportionate to my head. However, if you were to put them on There like, is a seam. There is a seam. If you were to put them on pony, that would be bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, t- turn to the left and I want to see your... No, it's small, but if your head was smaller, you might... Uh, those ears might actually be something that, uh, you know, Khaleesi could sit between. <laughs> you know, that would be... Uh, that would be interesting. I'm proportionate yeah. in all ways. Well, most ways. Yeah. Well, that's the way that goes. Okay, yeah. what, Should, what's the treatment, we have what's to the treatment play the for this year? Right I'm concerned. I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow. These I'll are your you money tomorrow. makers. I bet uh, they ice it. I bet they, they say ice it. I hope not. I don't want to put ice what about, in here. What if he has to get that. the rush ocular uh, or co- cochlear implant? Hello, well, that's my name is was, Charlie. I'm not on Oxy. I don't do those drugs. Not yet. Come on. Not yet. Not yet. Somewhere soon. Yeah. You know, I might do that. But no, it's just a... Add it to the cold. I think it might have something to, to, to do with the, yeah. the cold that I we got We all my get kid. swollen ears from cold. Yeah, the last it's thing down you need, here. Mike. The griblies are down here. The griblies are down here. Do you People go out in public d- with that with no shame? Do you, or do you say, hey, sorry about my ear. It's distracting. Look at me on a camera going to 40,000 people today. I don't care. But you're covering it with headphones. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're covering it. You you've got the headphones you on. Tell. That's what, you can't yeah. tell. Well, do you have a stocking You know cap? that I'm run down here, that I'm listening to classical music in my bed when I wake up in the morning. Alexa, play Beethoven's Eighth Symphony, please. Thank you. The Eighth, really? Thank I you. thought you'd be more da, of a ninth da, da, guy. Da, 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 I think oh, that's. But what about da, 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 Which one is that? That's the ninth, also known as Joyful. What joyful is the one that uh, they play in Mr. Holland's Opus when he's sad about his son being deaf? That I is do that, not. Th- know. Is that the sixth? I don't know. I'll check. Can you find it? I can. Can you find it? It's yeah. it's the one that goes. 
dun, 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 dun. That's my favorite Beethoven symphony, but I never remember what number it is. And I always think I get it wrong. And it's the one that Mr. Holland plays when he's describing to his class how Beethoven wrote symphonies even not being able to hear, and that he would saw off the legs on the piano so he would feel the vibrations of the music through the floor. That's how much of a genius Ludwig Vaughn Looks was. Looks like it's number uh, seven in A. Number seven in A? Do you yeah. have it? I will bring it up in a mm. second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It could just be allergies, Mike. All this WebMD saying that these are all things that yeah, are Yeah, there's terrible. nothing dire, and no. I took the deep dive into the uh, internet, Cold and there's bumpers. nothing dire about mm-hmm. it, which is you know why I'm not really all that Salt water solution, it. Mike. Go to the ocean. Ocean! Go down dive the ocean. into the ocean, down the ocean, take a dive, have some Thrasher's French fries, <laughs> have some English's fried chicken, and dive in the ocean. That's what you do. Then I'll fit. Do you have the uh, sixth? I, it's the seventh. What is it? What is the symphony it's again? The seventh. Play. It's the seventh in yeah. A? Yeah, and it will play after this ad. It oh. starts out really, really low. It starts out really. Dun, 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 dun. I want to. I want to share a little culture with our listening you know audience what? and play you... a little clip from. Ooh. That's not it. That's not it. Maybe it's no. another movement of it because it's forty-two minutes long. No. What this is not? See, see, try the seventh. The seventh. This is Beethoven Symphony Number. Try seven. the sixth then, or the eighth, for Christ's sake, because yeah, it's not the Audible. seventh. And pay for YouTube Red, so we don't have to hear your commercials. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Right, Mike. Let me do. Let me do it this way. What? Pay for what? What? YouTube Red. They're not a sponsor, so don't pimp them like I pimp everything else. Will Will it be easier for me to bring stuff up if I get YouTube? Yeah, then you won't have commercials, but you'll pay ten dollars a month. You, it's always you throwing money at stuff. You know what I mean? It's just mm-hmm. like, why can't I just have YouTube for Christ's sake? Why can't I just get what what I pay for? Well, you, you don't know, pay for YouTube. Free. You're right, yeah. That's free. Not at all. <laughs> all right, are you bringing up? <laughs> this is the six. Are they gonna? Pl- all right, let me hear. That's what I li- I listened to the six this morning when I woke up. Okay, it's not the one. All right. That's that's not the one. I Good. don't want to upgrade to Mac OS High Sierra. I'm doing a show, you f***ing computer. Oh. <laughs> High Sierra. Jeez, does that sound like some sort of religious cult? Uh, it sounds like they're blazing, Mike. And it's and it's not like saying later or, you know. No, I, all right, I guess I go for detail. I don't want detail. Oh, I've ruined it now. What I opened up details. I opened up details. Oh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Have you thought of tea tree oil for your ear? Uh, you know what, Oscar? Um, I have a very, very uh, good copay with a oh. very reputable physician who is going to uh, walk me through the process of whatever I have to do with the ear. I was hoping that the nurse would call me back and say, no need to come in, just do that, because I told her that it was better than it was yesterday. But I didn't get that. It's, I got he wants to see you, and when he wants to see you, that always makes me Mike, just a little I'm bit. getting an endoscopy next week. Yeah, on Tuesday, Ooh, right? I, I think it's Monday. Monday. Monday, mm. after the show, and I got a call, and they said, would you like to pay the $2,300 early as we uh, onboard you, I said, oh. why would I do that? That means you have my money for s- uh, seven days, and I get nothing for it. What a wonderful treat that you can By pay By the way, the symphony is Beethoven <laughs> like, Symphony what? Number 7 in A. Okay, That's I have Beethoven Symphony Number 7 in A major. Oh, okay, hold on. And here I don't, is... I don't... Uh, this is Werner... Yeah, I'm hearing applause. I'm going They're to They're about to start. You. No, that's not it. Well, this is Turn yours off. All Turn right. yours off. This is it. This is my favorite Beethoven symphony right now. Very dark. Can you hear it? I can. It's very heavy. Pony walking into the anime convention <laughs> with a black overcoat on. Before he opens the doors, he is in a bit of a malaise. When he opens the doors, he will be filled with great joy. But until then, he plods the streets. Oh, I know this capital. song. I know this song. It's not a song. It is a symphony, Rob. I, I picture you, you mallet-head. going in the kitchen after some Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up to the second shelf. <laughs> Mike sees the Captain Crunch Donuts with Sprinkles cereal. He realizes that his wife is blissfully asleep. He looks in the refrigerator. He sees there is a half gallon of low-fat milk. He reaches for the Captain Crunch Donuts with Sprinkles cereal. He fills the bowl, the extra large cartoon-like Pee Wee Herman bowl, <laughs> to the brim. He then goes to the milk, pours the milk halfway up the side of the bowl, 
so you can just almost see the white fluid through the donuts, but not quite. That is giving the cereal the optimum moisture with the maximum crunch. He takes the bowl over to his well-worn part of the sofa in the living room of his 1,800-square-foot Florida carriage home. He sits down and turns on MSNBC. (laughs) Munches away as he is entertained by stories of Judge Roy Moore fondling 16-year-old waitresses in Alabama. When he finishes the bowl, he is overcome by a sense of dread. A dread that the fun is over. Much like in his real life, Mr. O'Mara does not care for the party to end. So he retreats into his soul, stands up, and goes back to the pantry to get more of the donut cereal. Another full bowl. He has become bored with MSNBC. He turns to the movie channels on his DirecTV, his overpriced, horrible DirecTV, and sees one of his old standbys, oh. Mr. Holland's Opus, <laughs> and finishes his bowl of cereal. Now bring him here. Yes. Yes. That's right. He has ingested 10,000 calories. 10,000 calories in one sitting. Well, two. But oh, that Captain Crunch cereal, so very marvelous. Is the mix adequate or is it terrible? Thank you. That's right, two full large bowls of Captain Crunch donuts with sprinkle cereal with Green Wise organic 1% milk. Green Wise! Hallelujah! <laughs> That's a much better movie than the one you started with Pony sitting at the maid cafe. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I, you know, you, Pony was gonna. Pony was at the doors of the anime cafe, and it was gonna get joyful because the, the doors would open, mm-hmm. and it'll be all these cosplay women and uh, figurines of you know. And by the way, you know, I, no, I'm not going there yet. Oh, maybe I'm not going there yet. Yeah. 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 Wait uh, for no, it. <laughs> well, you know, when we're sitting here throwing darts at old Judge Roy Moore, you know, maybe we gotta track your activities over the last fifteen years. Hey kids, where do you want to go for dinner? Amato! Now Jim Amato is gonna like sell a veggie burger. Amato burgers. <laughs> I love beef, but I'll take this. You'll not believe the incredible Michael Barra burger. This Amato veggie burger is fantastic. <laughs> Oh, God, these are good. Welcome to Amato's, Pittsburgh's favorite burgers. It says 100% guaranteed, you moron. At Amato's, we pack our burgers with top quality cuts of beef and prepare everything with tender love and care. Did they teach you that here, Brad? If you're hungry for laughs, why not try the Mike O'Mara bonus show? Supersize the fun with a yearly subscription at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Yeah, don't just stare at it, eat it. <laughs> The best of Omera. Uh, anyway, uh, can I? Would you like to hear uh, about me moving, or would you like to hear about the uh, the fact that uh, I spent time in a portrait studio over the weekend? Uh, well, I think I've got to go portrait studio. Portrait studios. You don't care if I am uprooting my yeah. family and moving to another. Yeah, moving would probably make more sense because then that means more work. For no, it's us, interesting the way prepared. his brain works. No, though, because, because think uh, of him <laughs> seated in front of a bookcase backdrop. I didn't. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> in the picture. Oh, you weren't. Well, wow. then I want to hear oh. about the move, Mrs. O'Mara. <laughs> decided that uh, Sunday at 10.50 is your first clue that it might be problematic. Not 10.30, not 10 o'clock, not 11 o'clock, 10.50, which would mean that they break them up into 10-minute or 20-minute sessions Mm -hmm. uh, would be the optimal time. 10.50 Sunday morning would be the optimal time to... uh, to have a portrait of my son done for Christmas. Okay. And uh, what I, and, and you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, now, in the morning, I got a text from one of my buddies, Skip, that says, uh, you want to roll out early afternoon and knock out nine. I said, yeah. I said, I got some family stuff to do till noon, thinking that 1050. Yeah. Till noon would be perfectly okay. I said, but uh, how about one o'clock? Gives me a tremendous window. And uh, we arrive at the... Uh, at the portrait studio 
And we arrive, and there are When you one, say portrait studio, is that in quotation marks? It is a marks? building in a strip mall with two I thought cubicles you guys with backdrops. I went to uh, Bass Pro Shop. No, that's for Santa. That's for Santa. That's not for... Oh. Hello. Come on, get your head out of I don't know ass. what a portrait is. I've never had one. I don't know what you're a talking picture. about. picture. It's a picture. You've never... You have a... You've like glamour shots? Sh- you've had head shots done before, have you? Glamour yeah, shots? he has. Yeah, but I didn't you- call them portraits. It's called a portrait studio. How about your kids getting a headshot? Portrait. No, headshot. well, he's not. He he's not auditioning is... to be in Hamilton. That's it's right. like a school picture. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you mook. I We're can play to tell tennis. The story. I'm, I'm just asking. It's like a portrait studio. It's a chain in a strip mall, and that's where my little guy is going to get his picture like taken. Like family pictures like, or like Olin a, Mills? Like a, like a, a family. Olin picture. Mills. I know Olin Mills. Carla got it. It's like Olin. It's exactly like mm-hmm. Olin. I know that. That's what it is. Okay. Carla gets a de- uh, coupon, the aforementioned coupon on Honey. Yes. And uh, and she says, let's go to the portrait studio. The Speedwax did a-, a family thing at Olin Mills before my dad split. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you've got one? Yeah, many years ago. I'd love to see that. <laughs> yeah. I'll try before to find my your dad split. <laughs> Little Mike you, was going to say the same thing, but he didn't, your dad didn't go to another family. He went, went to, to heaven. Went to another did land. You, did, did you look happy in the? Did everybody look happy in the picture? Yeah, we faked it? it pretty good. All right, so uh, my mom looked sad. She did. <laughs> no, not really. Come Sharon on. was depressed. <laughs> HBS, like, I'm going to pay for this. And I'm going to get out of here. Is it hit the road, Jack? <laughs> so if you're planning on doing the same thing, a lot of families want to do like Christmas card. Yeah. Uh, everybody wears the same flannel shirt. You know, it's just super cute. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so people want to get them done. Uh, you, if you want to go through the same kind of hell that Pony went through on the side of MacArthur Boulevard, <laughs> go to a portrait studio at uh, right around 11 o'clock on a uh, Sunday. Mm. And, uh, and right know, before it, the holidays. Yeah. And so... I don't want to diss the people that were working there, but uh, let me just say the word scattered might apply. Mm, The word frantic might apply. There are uh, two uh, photographers there. So I believe two. There are two photographers. Everybody all right back there? Was yeah. that the yeah. little Maddie's, yeah. Maddie's got TB. Maddie, you're right. Oh, you just, uh, very you're away from the microphone. Okay? So, yes. yeah. There are two photographers, and there are, let me see, when last I checked, about 304 families in there waiting uh, to get their uh, portraits. Because and they all have, have their coupons. Yeah, they, uh, they're they all in there, and they're getting their pictures done. And we're having costume changes. We have a, a 12-year-old or a 13- or a 14-year-old <laughs> getting her uh, Christmas card for some reason. And uh, I when, when it got to the 40-minute mark where they were sitting in front of their little monitor, I looked oh. over at Carl. I said, you know how long they've been there? She said, Okay, don't do this. Don't do this. I said, our appointment was ten fifty, and uh, we were. I assume ten fifty would be. It's so specific a time that that would be the time we were because seen. they're scheduling. Yeah, I mean, it's, you said something very valid that merits restating. Right. If it was sort of a vague window, they right. would say ten thirty. No, 11 10 o'clock. 50, but ten fifty says yeah. specific. Yeah, and let me tell you why it's specific for them. So ah. they can sardine all these rubes into a room Big to portrait. get screwed, and and for one picture, mm-hmm. it's one picture at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're if you want more, you got to pay for it, right? That's but if right. you want to get the the coupon rate, the the like forty two dollar <laughs> rate for one 42 picture, forty two with a coupon. With a, well, no, you get a lot of other stuff. I don't. Okay, let's not go into that yet. Right. The point is, time, time. is is something. I don't mind waiting if I'm told what's going on. And then, so that way, I'm going to take this on two fronts, all right? Please. I don't mind waiting if you're communicating with me. If you come to me and say, we got slammed and we overscheduled, if you can be understanding, we're going to see you within this time frame. If you do that, I'm done. I have it in my mind what's happening, mm-hmm. okay? If you do that, I'm not going to worry about it. Then if you don't do that, then I go to my incremental rule, all right? Do you want to know what my incremental rule yeah. is? 10 minutes uh, is an understandable uh, delay okay. if you've got a specific appointment time. I think it applies to a doctor's office. It should. A lawyer's office, anything. 15 minutes, you're, you're, you're starting to become problematic and you're a little obnoxious. Yep. At 20 minutes, it's bad. If you're making someone wait for 20 minutes in a restaurant, they're walking out of your restaurant. I think the same should apply to everything. If you get me to the half hour mark, you're saying a big F you to me Mm. and you shouldn't have my business. Okay. well, we went to the we went to the 35 minute mark. All right. With this. And I was sitting there going, 
I'm pissed because not because of just the weight. It's Sunday. I got nothing going on outside of a tea time. But the <laughs> fact is, but at the same point, it was an extra like nine holes. It was extra. So it's not a priority. Bonus. My priority Bonus is goal. getting my kids paid. But the fact is, with these scattered people running around this place, not communicating, and everybody's racing around. Do you, mm-hmm. do we know that in the, ra- in the radio mm-hmm. business as well. You know the people that are inefficient in a radio studio behind the scenes because oh, yeah. they're the ones that are waving their arms around yep. and running. That's when you know that things are effed up because mm-hmm. people are feigning that frantic nature. And if you just calm down, you'll get it taken care of. So there are nine families in front of us. We're told on three separate occasions, you there's one family in front of you, which was a lie because there were two families in front of uh. us. And then we get uh, Carla leans over and said, this is the problem. I said, what? She said, the dreaded costume change. Yes, there was a costume change because uh, we, because Mommy Suburbanite did not d- decided that uh, the little snowflake sweater on her little effing angel was, uh, you know, was not a, a Sure thing. So she wants to bring in the second costume. So the change. studio so, is not providing costumes. So 1050, mm-hmm. when it's 10 after 12 noon, and we're wrapping up our procedure after uh. getting my little guy, by the way, who was a trooper and had his one picture taken. And, you know, I just, I, I'm just here to say, if you're going to do this, mm-hmm. do not do it on a Sunday because everybody, and you're everybody early. You're was there. And you're we, early, were, I we, we I, Should I point out, we arrived at 1045. Well, I think you're yeah. early we in the five season. Minutes you're not after Thanksgiving dragging your kid to the mall for the picture. Well, mm. I guess the week of before Thanksgiving must be a busy time for that. But they were, uh, you know, and then, and then the photographer, God bless her who, uh, let me see, celebrity she most resembles would be a uh, combination of, let me see if I've got this uh, this straight, a combination of Amy Schumer mm-hmm. and Louis Anderson. Oh. All right, that would be... Oh. That, I'm sorry, Fleet of that, foot. You know who uh, would have a great eye for photography, I feel, is Chrissy Metz. Chrissy Don't you Metz, think she'd no. be a wonderful picture This taker? is the thing. The, it, the, the photography would have gone smoother if there wasn't a hair adjustment Every single time. Ah. It would be take a picture, move the hair. Take a picture, <laughs> let down the hair. I'm not I'm not asking you. Take a picture, put the hair in a ponytail. Take oh. the picture, put the hair in a bun. Take the picture, move the hair out of the eyes. It was insanity. I vain. got out of there. Very I'd vain. lost a part of my holiday soul. This is a, this is how they get you. This is how they wear you down. Yeah. This is how they wear you down at the end of it. But at the end of the day, uh, he had a beautiful little picture taken. Oh, cool. And 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 he, you know, it was, you know, that's the the little angel. But it's to me. We've got the technology now. If, uh, you know, I could get a poster of a of a pine tree, put it in back of his little ass, and take the picture on my iPhone, and uh, easy peasy. I have that, a question. That would be fine. Yes. If it was just a picture of him, am I correct? Yes. Why did you have to go? Family support. Wow. Family support. I'm not at the Ooh. early stages. And the Lord spoke to his people, providing them these ten commandments. Thou shalt not worship false podcasts. Thou shalt not use the name of Mike in vain. Honor thy father and mother by buying them a TMOS bonus package. Thou shalt not kill Oscar on Facebook. Thou shalt not steal Rob's little sounds. Thou shalt not covet Mike's wife. We pray in the name of Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana. Download in peace. Dan, put down the tablets and take out the trash. The best of O'Mara. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show for a Wednesday. It is uh, delightful to have you along. Uh, Me and Oscar, uh, Rob on vacation. Uh, We'll talk about that hopefully later in the show. Just what he's up to. He's not somebody that uh, is uh, what I would describe as really worldly, although he has traveled abroad. He's not abroad. cloak and dagger, though. He's not cloak no. and dagger. He's pretty it's easy to figure Shore out. It's Eastern Shore or Leesburg. Yeah. And, and by the way, you have been doing a stellar job this week, uh, sitting in a seat you normally don't sit in, and it gets better every day. So a broken I'm, I, seat. I'm, 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 yes, his, his huge broken seat. Uh, I want to compliment you Ricky, on that. Thank you. And uh, and later on, uh, Pony will have a little uh, brief story for us because uh, this there was big big news in the world of show business Ooh. that that really this is where your brother 
and I would be going nuts. And we will save a lot of the discussion for when he gets back because uh, Rob knows the history of uh, Larry King and the Don and Mike show. And uh, I saw the news. news. I can't wait. Big, big I can't wait. show business news uh, today. But you know what? We didn't get to it yesterday. Yeah. So now it's not all about us, it's ladies and gentlemen. That's you. right. It's all about you uh, because it's time for the mailbag. Right. Me. I miss the mailbag. I don't get to sing. I always know there's a little delay from up there to down here, so when I'm playing. This is what you want. Pacha. I don't have enough. Uh, All right. This, this chair doesn't have enough bounce in it for me to dance in it. We gotta Maybe work by that. the end of the week you'll. Uh, well, I gotta get screwdrivers, Mike. Uh, I know. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> why that is like a little kid you're sitting in an adult's chair uh first letter hey mike uh you did a great job interviewing uh wayne newton uh i really enjoyed it that said i have a, a personal story about wayne that shows what a good guy he is i was at a small air force base in greece in uh, the 1980s and wayne put his entire show on for about 50 service people he went for at least two hours at full energy it was amazing uh, he talked to everyone after the show, and he was the most gracious entertainer I've ever met. After the show, he bought drinks for everybody at the club and talked to everyone. I couldn't believe how nice he was. From that day on, I've had the utmost respect for him. I'm not a huge fan of that type of music or performance. A lot of people feel that way about Wayne. I did the same oh. thing. I was going out to mock Wayne, and then uh, the show was just like you, he's a true you, entertainer. You walk away, and you, everybody says jive, everybody says showbiz schmaltz, and then you walk away from a Wayne Newton show going, you know, all in all, I felt like I was entertained, I was yeah. paying attention, and, and that's what Wayne does. And I know Wayne's known that for uh, for his entire career. Everybody knows he's show business schmoozy. Everybody knows he's got that, those ashes where he's talking <laughs> like that. Everybody, I've mocked it for years, but I, I've also seen the guy twice. And I love talking to him. Uh, so this guy's raving about uh, Wayne. He uh, says, I do respect the amazing talent uh, of a guy who can play all those instruments and can cover so many genres of music. I've been listening to you since Rob was your intern, and I've loved all of it. Thanks, Dave Crandall. Well, Dave, thanks for sharing that story. I appreciate about, uh, um, the, Wayne. I guess, for me, Mike, not just the letter, but f- I, from a fan's perspective, and I've never right. seen Wayne, that interview was it was more than I expected. It was fucking fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, the guy that's on vacation, if he could get us a few more interviews. Yeah. Because he doesn't like it. Uh, it would be really great if he oh, would. Oh, we do don't it. have to be mean to him, Mike. Come I on. can be mean to him when I'm talking about getting interviews. Yeah. He doesn't get it. But he's coming he off a win. He's coming off a win until When a, a listener sends an email to both of us and says, Patton's coming to town, and Rob says, thanks for the heads up. Anyway, uh, hello, our second daughter and your newest listener. That'll be the only time I slam him when he's gone. Love him, love him, love him. Don't want to get the mob mad at me. (laughs) Anyway, hello, our second daughter and uh, your newest uh, listener, uh, Esther Talia. Let me hold. turn that music off. Uh, Esther Talia Strom was born uh, last Tuesday. That's uh, wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, three fifty nine a.m. to Zach and Corinne Strom in Bellevue, Washington. Esther is Hebrew for star, which is exactly what she Esther. is to us. That's beautiful. I love Esther. that name. Esther. Uh, she joins her sister Miriam, who was announced uh, in a uh, previous mailbag twenty seventeen. Uh, welcome, Esther, and that's from Zach Strom. Congratulations, Esther, Esther and Miriam. Who uh, also are friends of mine that live over in Miami. No, I'm just kidding. I, I sounds am like a so sitcom. Sorry, I just can't. I can't help myself. Uh, way to go, uh, way to go, Esther, and uh, thanks for sharing. We appreciate that. Hey, TMOS Nation, mm. here's some good news for all the inebriants out there. I used to be one. I can't be one now with my schedule anymore. Uh, the Chernobyl Spirit Company. <laughs> oh, didn't I know they had one. This is great. Is selling an artisan vodka called Atomic. <laughs> this is true, I guess. They made the liquor out of rye grain they planted in the exclusion zone and water from an aquifer in Chernobyl. Mm. Jesus. And get this, and I quote, after distilling it and conducting tests, they told BBC 
that they concluded that their product is no more radioactive than any other vodka. Oh, no. <laughs> I love this letter. What are the odds? Thirsty yet? I'm here to help Tim McLaughlin. That is wonderful. How did I miss that one? Uh, hey, guys. By the grace of the good Lord, I just found out that I will be able to uh, get the time off work, so I was able to scoop up two of the last few TMOS 10th anniversary tickets for Saturday's show. Well, it's great. Uh, Paulie sold his, too, so we're looking forward to having a full crowd in there. I didn't uh, think it w- I would be able to make it out, so I'm crapping my pants with excitement. Mm. <laughs> Here's an editor's note. He wrote, actually, crapping his pant, and it was so charming, I chose not to correct it. Thank you, Rob. Uh, <laughs> thanks, y'all, and I can't wait for Vegas. Alex of Colorado Springs. Another editor's note, Oscar. Uh, Alex changes your pant. Change your pant before November. Okay, uh, please. Here we go. Thank please. you. Oh, pant. Music, please. Pant. Uh, hello, boys. Happy 31st birthday to my beloved Tara Nunley. Mm. Her big day is this Saturday. Her only birthday request is this. Please to explain the origin of face. Okay, uh, I think yours that's, in Christ, it's, it's fair. Brentley, I I'm not able to. Do um, that. I don't so, that. Rob, one of his, um, one I guess one of his dadisms. That's the best way for me to put it. His dadisms would be like in your face, and face. I'm, and I could be wrong, but this is where I get this is what I get it from. This is my recall. And he, what Rob would do is he would go out of his way to he likes saying what his kids say. Ah, right. uh, well, like his kids say, Shaw. By the like, way, I already think you're getting this wrong. I don't think it's right. But well, then what ahead. do you think, Mr. Know-it-all? I don't know-it-all? have a theory because I don't care. Oh, bring, I don't care. Okay, well, I'm I, not saying I'm a know-it-all. I'm saying I don't have a oh, theory. I care, and this yours is what just I remember. Yours sounds like you're making it up as you're going on. Pony boy, what do you think? That's what it sounds like to me. You know, I, I seem to remember uh, listening to some song that had the word face in it. Yes. And then some, somebody but he just took went, the, in your He took your in-your-face-ism yeah. that his kids pull and then he made the face into his songs that's the origin story really yeah Uh, he replaced the word face in various songs with well i know he i know hey dummy i know he did that (laughs) now you're insulting pony i know he did that of course i know i know you know what come on yeah, I just want the origin where it originally came it comes from. from I don't his think ki- it comes from his kids. Well, and you know, an when he comes back a Monday, and he's, had. he's been featured way too much for somebody that's gone. I think but it's too much exposure. Per- person, I think it's way yes, too much. Yeah. I think when he comes back, we'll talk to him about that. And uh, you know, I don't like talking about him that much. It builds his ego. He doesn't need more of that. Uh, greetings, TMOSers. <laughs> a few questions about karaoke. Uh, I love the song "Mac the Knife" by Bobby Darin. I always do it at karaoke, and I do it well. However, it drives my girlfriend crazy because she thinks I'm too young at 43 to do that song. No, you're not. Uh, so should there be a range relative to your age that you have to pick from for karaoke? No, that's the joy of karaoke. Mm-hmm. You can sing old fart songs at 25. That's what makes karaoke special. It's really all about the quality of the performance. And uh, hold on a second. I know and I've if you could actually sing... I don't think how old you are matters, as Mike just said. Uh, you know, I think what it really is is just what makes you happy. Let me turn that off and let me put this on because speaking of Mac the Knife, uh, we happen to have it here. You know, years ago, I think I might have been in my 20s. Is that McDonald's I know it was commercial? In my, it, was my, it was my first marriage, so it was mm. my, definitely my 20s. Would you like to hear my please, version? Please, please. Uh, recorded on the boardwalk in Ocean City. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, after a few cocktails, I'm still doing that back then, Mike O'Mara. Ooh, the shock babe. Yeah. Has such teeth, dear. <laughs> you know, I think my voice sounds the same and way. He shows <laughs> them <laughs> pearly whites. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Just a jackknife. You know, this is a, this is quality. Teeth, babe. I thought this letter was talking about the McDonald's commercial, Mac Tonight. No, it's uh, Mac the Knife and whether it's appropriate to sing at uh, karaoke. Uh, so 43 is not too long. Is this, yeah, is this, is this uh, an old man song? I don't think it's an old man song. Well, it's an old song, Bobby Darren. I'll, I'll just play it a little longer. Why? Well, because I have an amazingly inflated ego. Kick it up a few notches, Mike. Play it for the people. Here's Mike O'Mara, ladies and gentlemen. Now on the sidewalk. Yeah. Sunny morning, yeah. <laughs> Lies a body, pretty good. Just oozing light. Why, why don't we ask? Uh, let's ask 20? Maddie. Maddie, your boyfriend jumps up on uh, karaoke. He's in his mid twenties, and he brought brings out uh, the Mac Mac the knife. Is that what? Excuse me, Oscar. Oh, excuse me. Hey. Here we go. There's a 
tug boat. That's the part. Down They're the dancing room. in the control room. Oh, They're you dancing. talked right at my favorite part of it. I thought you, you were singing. You talked right at my favorite. So Down so. by the river going <laughs> through. Oh, that's cement is just, it's just for the Maddie, what do you think? Well, so this is actually, so my boyfriend's last name is Mac, so I call him John Mac oh. the Knife. Actually, oh, so it's very fitting, oh, whoa. believe it or not. Does Look he sing? This. Does he sing it? He will sing. I mean, he's, he has the ability to sing. It's not very good, <laughs> but he'll not sing Not like it. this. And now Mac, he spends just like Hey, you know, we've been talking so much about it. Maybe we're going to get to the end of it. Because yeah. I'll tell you, it's an amazing finish. Mike O'Mara, ladies and gentlemen. Big finish coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Miss Lucy Brown. Oh, boy. Lucy Brown. All right, here we go. This part's rough. That line falls on the right Listen babe. to this. Want to hear a man sustain? I know. Oh, oh, one more. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Come on, Mike. Don't talk, Oscar. Oh, hey. 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 Oh. And old Lucy Brown. Yes, that line forms on the right, babe. Now that Mackie. Like O'Mara! Look out, old Mac Keith is back, yeah. Yeah, oh, that was a re- that was weak. <clears throat> For several moments, I ran out of gas there. Mac, but, uh, uh, Mac right, the so, knife uh, is the name. Mac, Mac the knife by Bobby oh, Darren. It was uh, mm. you know absolutely wonderful. Mm. And uh, anyway, uh, what are, do you have a go to a karaoke? Do you do karaoke? Todd and I do, but like you, I, I don't remember. Did, you. I did karaoke um, for our road trip. Uh, right. But I'm not a radio. Uh, I know I can't sing, so I'm not a big karaoke guy. So you don't really like no. to do it. No, but no, like but I'll do it. do it if everybody's doing it. I'm not going to say I'm staying in the hotel room. No, I'll go, really, I'll go out and sing. Remember that really sweaty night we had in uh, Cleveland. Uh, no, but also with Todd Moore and Marissa and you and your. Oh, uh, we were lady. in uh, Clarendon. Clarendon, we, yeah, we just yeah. it was so hot. So they didn't fun. have any air conditioning. It was a hot night, and we were all drinking. Bar and getting was up and singing. jammed. It was rocking. It was fun. Uh, anyway, that comes from Matt Bazinet. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Thank you very much for our Canadian friends. Sing it. We appreciate that. Uh, next uh, letter. We have our uh, last letter here. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, the second to last. The penultimate. Hey, buddy. I heard that you don't like birds. Well, my wife and I have... Uh, oh, this is a message for Rob. Yeah, Rob doesn't... One of his weirdism. He's, he doesn't like birds. Well, my wife and I have had big birds for years, and I just wanted to tell you how smart these critters are. We have a sulfur-crested cockatoo... Well, that sounds like something you pick up at American mm-hmm. University in the 80s. That's and a, a mini green wing macaw. And they're only a couple of years old, but it's like having two toddlers uh, in the house. They're into everything, and they are very intelligent. Opening cabinets, pulling out Tupperware, and talking up a storm. <laughs> I love birds. See, I don't hate birds. I love. You can train them to do fun tricks, and they can be very loving. Don't criticize what you don't know, Rob. Rob mm. seems to be. He's got his footprint all over this today. Uh, get a small parrot and see how much love you can get from such a little heart. Uh, let me know if you'd like any pics or video. That's okay. From uh, the little guys. Have a great day. Your, fi- uh, your friend, Dennis Guevara. And, of course, there's an editor's note. Here. I bet there is. <laughs> that literally sounds like a nightmare. Keep the birds away from my Tupperware. Nobody needs love that bad. Oh, and please make sure that you don't let them peck your eyes out. <laughs> and I hold in my hand the, uh, the, last the last letter. letter here. The last letter. Uh, Olivia Loneman writes, Hello, gentlemen. I just woke up from a long night's dream about Wayne Newton. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Wayne Newton in the mailbag today. And hey, guess what, Oscar? Yes. We can start the show. Woo! Yay! Checking in live from the deck of the Jack Tar. Do you know that Pony has something peculiar and unexpected in his car at all times? So I got an inflatable fishing kayak. You're going to need a bigger boat. I never thought I'd get a gone fish from this guy. <laughs> I like going down the pond chasing bluegills or tommy cats. You don't even eat them? I mean, I don't want to eat a dirty Fairfax fish. Bad fish. There I'll eat, haven't. like, flounder if I'm, like, surf fishing in Virginia Beach. I caught you a delicious bass. This shark swallow you whole. Whether you're the skipper on the deck of the Jack Tar or 
aboard the SS Caballito. Caballito. Small horse. The Mike O'Mara Show Shopping Center has everything you need for your next fishing expedition. One case of apricot brandy. Happy. Iranian caviar and don't forget the color TV. Click the banner at MikeOmaraShow.com and as we say on the high seas. Here's to swimming with bow-legged women. <laughs> The best of Omera. Uh, we would be talking about the uh, the Larry King mm. thing, like uh, there is no tomorrow. I've got it in news you made on me, but I'll give you the uh, general uh, story. Is that after 22 years of uh, of marriage, after 22 years of marriage, uh, Larry King and Sean Southwick King are getting divorced. And uh, I was talking to Pony about it before the show, and I was saying, I wonder what the record for celebrity divorce numbers is i wonder exactly how what who is the oldest celebrity larry is 85 ah, years old i did not know he was that old Damn. this is his eighth marriage but seven if you count the fact that he married another wife uh twice so i'm not sure exactly what that is but the story behind the scenes we'll have it again in uh, news you may not need is that there's some legal dispute with the kids the boys chance armstrong king uh, and Canon uh, Canon King, uh, I wonder exactly what's going on with that. It, it, Larry King has been a part of my show forever. Back when we were doing the old morning show uh, with Don, I would come in and drive in in the morning, and we would listen exclusively to Larry's radio show on the Mutual Radio Network overnight. Larry, on an April Fool's Day, I believe it was, Alan Goodman, our old general manager, brought Larry in as a surprise guest for us, and it was hysterically funny uh, early in the morning because Larry was getting off and he was coming in. The day after Larry was on our show, he had a heart attack, Mm -hmm. which is uh, God's honest truth. And so Larry, I've known about Larry, but the one thing about Larry is that uh, you you can hear Larry when he's talking and when he's interviewed. And he's got that kind of, you know, the guy's a bit, he's got a pretty decent sized prick factor. Oh, he's, and the, I, the guy know, started I, a, a show called Breakfast with Larry right. and he touted, look, the man's got more success than I'll ever see in my life. But right. we chronicled here on the show, we're like, okay, if you're going to start a show that's awesome, Breakfast with Larry, you're going to have Shaquille O'Neal, you're going to have um, yeah, you're LeBron Larry James. You were on CNN no, he for had some years. like, uh, some uh, like self help author on. And yeah, guys show, that do like, yes talks. You know, like, I mean, come, that's it. Come on. Right. Uh, it's just it won't Larry stop being Larry. Well, I, his marriages probably don't help as well. Well, I got so many theories about Larry. I'm wondering because, look, I'm wondering whether she may have gotten into that relationship because of the moolah. I'm wondering whether that I was would the say case. that that's. It's, it's, I think you're an, you're you're a better person to make that observation it's easy for somebody to just look from the outside and you've been married three times right yeah so i've been married three yes. times and i wonder if uh with larry the the spin that sounds like it's coming out is that the boys were worried about that she was trying to get the money out of their inheritance and that she that they urged him to get yeah. out look once you're when it, uh, i say to this day and i and remember remember i'm saying this and if it gives my wife some comfort fine she might as well take a uh, a grenade and put it in the car or and blow me up if, if she wants to end this marriage because the fact is that I will not do it again. I will not go to number four. I can't do that. This is my last time at the rodeo. I cannot do it. The idea, the concept of a man who is five to t- ten years max away from casket land uh, stuns me that he's still going through this marital strife. And it also, you know, it says it says to me, twenty two years, and he's eighty five. I wonder if uh, Shannon Southwood Green. Do you think he was difficult at seventy five? Mm. I do. I do. The problems that were there. There have been allegations of cheating yeah. with Larry the King soccer for coach. years and years. The uh, <laughs> you remember, remember that? The I remember that. Coach. I remember it's like that. A swarthy Latin guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, coming over to uh, to teach the kids. Taught oh, her a Larry. thing or two, apparently. Larry, Larry, Larry. Pony, you have a story about uh, Larry King. My mom uh, called me yesterday a, about the a, divorce. This is how, yeah. t- like, this is big news. Oh, my news. God. Oh, Mrs. Zabalios. Yeah, she, she called Wait. me. She guilt-tripped me, guilt-tripped me about not caring about the family, as usual. Um, perhaps uh, perhaps tomorrow's show uh, we could arrange for Larry to, we're asking Larry about the divorce and uh, women, and he could 100%, maybe percent Because my, with, uh, my mom... Your- did the thing where, and we've all had this happen, especially in, in, in this cele- the celebrity world, and and uh, I would say 
the business of show, Mike, where someone calls you because they think you have more information than they do. So there's a right. pleasantry that's exchanged, and then the pleasantry is gone, and they're like, hey, what do you know about this? So my I mom my mom yeah. called me with a guilt about not seeing her since I just saw her in Boston, so that didn't make any sense. I said, mom, what's up? She goes, escuché que el señor Larry está yendo a un, un nuevo divorce. Uh, se, está, se, se está divorciando. And I was like, uh, what? And she's like, sí, el señor Larry con uh, su esposa. ¿Qué va a hacer? Es, ya es un viejo. And I'm, she's saying, he's an old man. Like, what is he going to do now? Like, I, like, we're friends with Larry. You're talking to Michael Mayer, old lady. We're not friends with Larry. <laughs> do you think there's... there? there like, by the way, he filed. Yes. He filed. Yeah, tell, Primer Impacto had everything. I cannot believe that he filed. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Tony, tell your story about Larry. What happened? Larry yeah, please. Larry almost got came to blows with a uh, person in your family? Well, yeah, yeah. my uh, my best friend's dad, is, he grew up in Colorado. He was a rodeo rider. I mean, he, he didn't take S from anybody. Mm. And Last uh, name Baskets? Yes. Mm. And Sorry. Anyhow, uh, one day he was at, I think he was at International, uh, D.C. International Airport, and he was getting ready to fly out somewhere, and Larry... Chip Basket. Chip basket. Okay. Thank you. So Larry cuts in front of him in line to board, and and my friend's dad again doesn't take anything from anybody. He says, "Excuse me, you, you just cut in front of me." Yeah. And Larry turns around and says, "Do you know who I am?" Oh God, and, Larry, come yeah, on. He, he did the whole. I can Do you see know Larry who doing I that. Am? And yeah. and my my buddy's dad was seconds away from slugging Larry in the face <laughs> when one of the uh, flight attendants came up and to just like kind of brought him over to the side. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Give him Larry, let's equipment. help you, Larry. What a douche. Let's help it. Yeah, douche, uh, douche canoe. Five five forty p.m. Pacific time. So that's last night. Mm -hmm. A source who spoke with this is from TMZ. TMZ. A source who spoke with Sean this afternoon says she was blindsided by the divorce. She found out by getting a call from TMZ. As for Larry's allegations, the source says the last time Larry was in the hospital, doctors said he might. <laughs> this is, I guess, Sean, this is going to be ugly. Art. Oh, this is not. You're 85. You're not supposed to be in an ugly situation. Uh, as for Larry's allegations about her taking money and not giving the kids their inheritance, uh, the source says the last time Larry was in the hospital, doctors said he might only have three days to live. The source says their estate planning lawyer had told them they needed to update their documents, something they had mutually agreed to do. And that's what Sean presented to Larry recently when he was ill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the this is really not cool. Do you this mind signing cool. signing this while you yeah. have IVs in you? <laughs> I mean, it's something out of a movie, right? Out this of like a, a, a comedy, like a, a dark comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's three days to live. Larry, sign this before you go, please. Okay, hold on. It goes on. Okay, please. Uh, the source said there's St. Flynn needed to update the docs. Uh, she strongly denies doing anything that would compromise the inheritance of their two sons. We're told Sean is devastated. The news comes two weeks before their, tw <laughs> their 22nd wedding anniversary. Uh, Larry's divorce documents obtained by TMZ list the date of separation as June 6th. Mm. 2019. That's interesting because uh, TMZ has video of Sean the very next day at LAX. She talked about Larry's recovery. Well, they showed her at LAX from the yeah. heart attack and didn't let on at all about any trouble in Paris. Where was she going? This is great. Get TMZ, you know, when you when you need most of the time, TMZ no, has rappers that yeah. I have no idea who they are uh, because they're doing bad things. Uh, but this is, you know, a real celebrity. Sources connected by the couple tell TMZ they've been having marital trouble for seven years now. Larry is accused Sean of infidelity. Remember that one? We're told uh, that that has created tension for a while now. But the uh, breaking point was when Larry was in the hospital a couple of months ago, and uh, she presented him with uh, documents that have given her a certain right to their property that would adversely affect the couple's two sons. Mm. We're, we're told they felt, this sounds like spin from Larry, yes. but you know what? You're 85, you file for divorce, you're pissed. You, you know, you're 85, I don't care who you are, you want to be taken care of. We're told they felt she was trying to screw them out of their inheritance. We're told the boys went to Larry and told him they were outraged by their mother's conduct, presenting the documents, and pled with him, pled with him to get out of the marriage. We're told he followed their advice. Okay. How Who knows? terrible a person do you have to be when your spawn, your offspring, turn on you? Right. Like, that's right. how terrible a person you have to be.
Well, it, here's the thing. It, it, this is so many. There's so many possibilities here. This is like Game uh, of Thrones. Yeah, I, I don't doubt. You know, who knows? This is this is a man. You know, when I'm 85, how old's Carla going to be? Carla's going to be 31 when I'm 85. No, I'm kidding. Uh, when I'm 85, Carla will be Late 40s. in her 50s. In her 50s, she will not be. No, it's a 21. When I'm 85, Carla will be 50 in her 50s. A vital, lovely woman. And when I'm 85, I, uh, you know, I just want her around and still to love me. That's all. But if she wants to, you know, if she wants to have the gardener come up, you know, I'm a realist. I have to be a, you know, I have to be a realist in this end. But I don't want to fight over inheritance and all that crap. I don't want to do that. The dynamics are different, though, Mike. Like, yeah, she married me after after, I got fired. After you got fired, right? That's the key element. to. And by the way, because Carla endured a lot of that crap. And she still does. Think about it. And she still probably takes a lot of crap. Yeah. Uh, But, you know, she's going out. Is your uh, father coming out today? (laughs) Poor lady. Yeah, she's going back to school. She's going to be a facial person. That's what she's going to do. Did you get a scholarship? Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for her, and she's wearing her little scrubs today. It was cute. It was adorable. It's like Bye-bye. this is creepy. You can't yeah. call it cute. Come yeah. on. She's wearing her scrubs. She looks cute in her in her uh, in her. This what's, is what's your wrong wife. With what do you this mean it's like sexy? Cute? Say, it's sexy. cute like a, like sexy cute. <laughs> Gross. What? Why? You, why oh. is that gross to you? Oh, gross! I don't She's know. wearing white. Stop oh, it! Don't, don't play. You play that too much. What are you? Yes. Snap? What's What's gross about that? Okay. You call that I'm an old man? No, you call your daughter's cute. Your son cute. Sexy cute. You you didn't say sexy cute. You said oh, I didn't mean she looked cute, cute like a her, little kid. With her backpack on. No, and, I didn't mean it that way. I meant sexy. To class. I no, I meant sexy. She wears the <laughs> the same thing you'd see in some of the world's finest salons. <laughs> the world's and we were talking, finest uh, salons. Uh, right, right. You By know. the way. <laughs> You know, I don't know what the rules are in Las Vegas, but uh, you know, she's going to have her license when we go to Vegas. Oh, there we she go. She will be a, she will be a graduate mm. uh, when we go to uh, Vegas. So you know, uh, it's all about the bottom line, people. You know, that's right, Dirk. Now, you want a facial? It's going to cost you three grand. It's going to cost you three grand, Dirk. Wrong choice I, of words. Skin <laughs> treatment probably better. Yeah, Let's no, figure no. that out. Because Doug would pay three grand handedly. Come on. No, but you know, but here getting back to the original <laughs> thing with Larry Oscar. Yes. I'm saying you're 85, and I look, this is where, and you I welcome your theory because okay. you're good at this. Okay. At 85, don't you think that like things like she goes out with the girls and she gets a yeah gets a little Hammer, on the maybe side she doesn't come from home. the soccer who, yeah, who, who cares? Yeah. He's eighty five. But if he's if she gets into the finances like that, then and the sons are involved, maybe that would be. There seems it's, to be a little credibility a level, with Larry filing, right? If you put it that way, yeah. And again, I don't know if I'd be I'd be okay with you know, but I don't have this like crazy gap of of years. So you know, I, I to each to each their own. But I'll say this. If he's screwing the kids, if he really, if if what he says is true, that I could see happening. It's, I could see that happening. I couldn't see, you know, that's the allegation. It's too. It's the calculation. The for? It's too it's, calculated. It is too calculated that he is he is on the brink of what may be his last throes of life. Right. And for some, and I, and let, let's all put ourselves in that position for a second here. Someone that we've already had kind of like questions about their moral compass, which is alleged comes to you and instead of like holding you and being with you with the family making sure the kids are okay and like we're going right. to be okay brings like, hey, the documents <clears throat> to the hospital what about what about this a uh, fresh set of uh of printouts let's make sure everything's a okay before you go so you agree with me I that, agree. There, when, that so there's when, credibility to these allegations you can, look, i could see it you happening could, you could put a um a veneer of uh it's just a hollywood marriage right personally i would imagine you're like ah mm-hmm. you know it's a, sure. she's, I'm, she's much so much younger or whatever but when someone slaps you in the face of the reality of what this marriage is about, right? And maybe you've been in denial because you're the king, and you're like, "Oh, it's never been about money. It's always been about you know, yep. I got the sex appeal. I've been that's, married see, seven why, years. I've been, that's why I like your I've take been mar- on these things. I've seven I didn't times. Think of that I, I've right. been married nine years. I can't, you know, I don't care mm-hmm. what people say. Like this is just a different type of Hollywood marriage. And then boom, and in your throes of failing health, it's sign here, please. That right. slap in the face may not just hurt, hurt him emotionally, but his ego. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. There, 
on that count, too. Yeah. When he was younger, 22 years ago, it was just like, oh, she loves me for me because I'm still, you know, feeling like I'm a vital guy. Yeah. Although, you know, I'm 60. I don't feel vital anymore. You I'm know, 41. Really I'm not vital. Uh, yeah, I don't feel vital. My poor but, wife. But, but now you're yeah. sitting there going, and the reality, Stress. especially if it comes from the sons, who it sounds like that there might be a decent relationship with. You know, Larry's thing, he's eating ice cream sundaes at the Dodgers game behind home plate. You know, Larry's not looking to, you know, to... And he's not, a, he's not eating ice cream like, hey, I hope nobody sees me eating ice cream. It's like, right. oh, like an old man eating ice cream. Like, <laughs> like an old man. He doesn't give a, I'm Larry King. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I don't care. I don't care. But, uh, well, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow on the show, maybe Please. your mom can figure it out. And well, she would she love can, to uh, talk to yeah. Larry because she knows a thing or two about marriages and yeah. living in two and different the, countries. And, of course, that can be the, uh, the entrees that we're interviewing about the divorce. That would be, uh, <laughs> well, if you want to stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Want more? Make sure you check out The Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. 